today's topic is dike construction, operation, and application of the type. To understand the working of the type, let us consider the two diodes, E1 and E2. Like, uh, this is the positive terminal of E1, this is the negative terminal, I mean N of E1 diode. And E2 diode, this is the anode, E terminal, and this is the end terminal of the A2 diode. And these two diodes are connected in series like P, N, and P. So let us try to understand how it's working. If we give a potential difference like a negative terminal of the battery is connected to here and a positive terminal of the battery is connected to here then uh, the diode A2 becomes slightly forward biased and A1 becomes reverse biased. And when we go on now coming to this picture, if we are increasing this potential difference, no current will flow until at a certain uh, very heavy uh, reverse biasing, this reverse bias is very much increased then uh, the diode will, the system will break down and suddenly the current rises. The same happens if we apply the battery in the other way around, like a positive terminal to the A1 and a negative terminal to the A2. Now A1 is forward biased and A2 is the reverse biased. And if we go on increasing this uh, forward bias, uh, the current will be, the reverse current will be the small, but uh, at a certain very heavy reverse uh, biased voltage, the crest, this uh, system will break down and suddenly the current rises. So this is the, uh, this is the action of the two diodes when uh, connected in series and uh, that can be understood like this, the two diodes like P, N, the other doubt P N is a three terminal device. But the dike dike is also available in the five layer also. This is the symbol of the trike. And in the five layer devices, one, two, three, four, five layers. Now here are the uh, there are two terminals MT1 and MT2. When MT1 is positive and MT2 is negative, then the current will flow uh, along this side, like the current will flow P2 to N2 to P1 and uh, to MT2. Like if this terminal is uh, positive, this is negative, the current will flow like this from here P2 to N2 to P1 to N1 and then to MT2. When the uh, voltage is other way around, like uh, this terminal is positive, MT2, and this terminal is negative, then the current will flow like this from the connecting terminal to P1, then N2, then P2, then N3 and then to this terminal. So the current will flow in both the directions. The current is uh, current flow bi-directional. The, you know, the, the, along this uh, type, the current flow in both the ways. That's why it's called the bi-directional device. So no doubt, the, firstly, the current will be small because uh, if the this terminal is positive and uh, this terminal is negative, no doubt. Slightly P2 is forward bias, but slightly N1 is forward bias, but uh, there is a central layer. Uh, because of the central layer, uh, which is a, which is a reverse biasing, and uh, at the start the current will be very small. And uh, when the voltage is increasing, like you are looking at the characteristics curves. At the start the current will be small, that is called 
the leakage current. So leakage current is very small, very small by increasing the voltage. And what happens at a certain we reach the voltage which is sufficient uh, which break down this system. This is called the break over voltage. At the break over voltage the current suddenly increases and uh, the maximum current you know uh, when the breakdown happens may reach up to 10 milliampere and when the breakdown happens that is called uh, the this tyke it is in the on state and uh, when uh, there is only the leak is current then the dike is called in the off state so to uh, switch between uh, off state to the on state we to achieve the break over voltage which is necessarily then only we can go from uh, off to the on state and uh, when the breakdown happens at this point a voltage breakdown of the reverse bias junction occur and uh, then when suddenly the current rises then there is a the potential also reduces you know where at the, at the on state uh, the potential reduces across the tire and the same type of graph is available in the negative side when in the other way around uh, if we give the negative potential uh, because the tyke works on uh, both the polarities this is the graph is again the symmetrical graph now we we may interested that the when the current is rising how they try this is with respect to the time so uh, let that the current to increase uh, 10% to the 90% of its the maximum value that is denoted with uh, uh, this TF that is uh, the current rises 10 to the 90 percent there's a rise time it is called the rise time of the current and uh, you may give an example of the, the dike is db3 or db4 and uh, in this case uh, noted down did the uh, Break over voltage uh, may be from 28 to 36 and maybe 435 to 45. And uh, because if we say this is the ideal dike, then uh, the graph is symmetrical both the sides. But if it is symmetrical, then whatever the break over voltage along the positive side, the same is the break over voltage on the negative side also. But uh, in a practical diet, there is a small difference. Uh, the break or voltage both the sides, and then the difference may be three to for three, maybe three volt or so. So the, the graph uh, is actually is not exactly symmetrical, and the break over current, uh, as shown here, may be up to the uh, this IBO fifty microampere. And uh, then the leak is current, which is a very small before breakdown. It may be the 10 microampere. And the, all the data is, uh, you know, it is okay for, uh, especially when it is in a circuit and uh, some capacitors are attached with the tie. And uh, uh, the current 10% to the 90% for a typical diode, it may be 1.5 microsecond and so so uh, this is the characteristics of the tie. So it's a two terminal device, bi-directional. There's an off and on, store, on state. This is a basically a switch. And uh, mostly it is used, the tie is used for triggering the tie actually. And there's a list of applications for the light dimming, heat control, universal motor speed control and so and uh, this is all about this uh, track in the next video i'll try to explain something about the track thank you very much for viewing the track construction and operation thank you very much so